Welcome. This is Peter Vug, founder of the prestigious Game Changers Academy. And thank you for tuning into our monthly millionaire video series where we interview the world's most elite and successful entrepreneurs, CEOs, uh, entertainers, and real game changers, people that I have massive respect for and those making a huge difference, not just in their industries, but in the world. And we have somebody today who I'm excited to introduce who's been getting results, real results, and impacting people for a very long time. You may have seen him interviewed by Larry King or on stage with his good friend, Tony Robbins. Dean Graziosi is a very well-known entrepreneur, marketer, um, extremely successful coach, business owner, real estate investor, and an influencer now who has a lot of influence online. He's appeared on TV for 15 years, highly respected top businessman, entrepreneur, multiple times New York best-selling author. He's written five books which have dominated the success, business, and real estate book space since 2006 with his best-selling book amassing over a million copies sold. So I'm excited. You guys already know about him. You watch the videos. We've already talked about him. I'm excited to bring him on. So Dean, thanks for uh, the time, man. I'm excited to have you here. Uh, really good to be here, man. So I wanted to start with this a little bit different. They've seen a lot of your videos online okay. and they're, they're extremely valuable. You've had massive success. You've had massive failure. You've been dead broke. You've made multi-million dollars. What's been on your mind late? We'll dive into your story in a second, but what's been on your yeah. mind lately? What's having a, uh, what's weighing heavily on your mind at this current moment? I'm just curious. Well, well, first off, man, I just want to say when I was when my team said we were going to do this interview, I uh, I've seen your stuff, but I geeked out a little bit on on what you've done, and I just want to say congratulations, man. The, the world needs more leaders to share what they know. Sometimes it's just the one little thing. If you're listening right now live, or you're listening to the recording of this, man, you, you got to realize in life it's never this magical money machine that you run into. It's never this this big secret like, oh, I, I couldn't make money until I was this one thing changed. My life. It's never that one thing. Sometimes people just need the inspiration. They need the ability to have someone to say you can. They need someone to relate when the, the shit hits the fan and things are going sideways. They need to relate when their boyfriend, their girlfriend, their father and mother say, stop being a dreamer, go back and get the job. This business isn't going to work. Or when the, the algorithm changes on Facebook or, or your ads stop working. Like sometimes they just need a voice like yours, Peter, to tell them, you're not crazy. They don't build statues of critics. You can do this. And then to deliver capabilities, you're doing a really good thing. It's what the world needs. So man, I, I commend you for, uh, I commend you for sharing and having that passion to, to help others and everybody listening. I want to tell you what changed my life more than anything was, was specialized knowledge was self-education. Mm -hmm. I didn't get it in school. I didn't go to college cause I wasn't that smart. I learned from people like Peter back in the day. I had mentors like Tony Robbins and Wayne Dyer and Eckhart Tolle and business leaders. So anyway, I don't mean to digress. I just want to, I want to give you a little kudos, man. Um, you're in for a good ride. There could be nothing better in the world than helping change people's lives and getting paid for it. So I appreciate it. Man. It's, it's interesting hearing you say that changed your life and specialized knowledge and mentorship changed mine as well. So we're definitely on to something. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's, listen, it, you go all the way back to uh, think and grow rich, right? And in the, in the section, uh, there's a whole chapter on specialized knowledge. It said, all colleges do is give you general knowledge. And then when general knowledge doesn't work, what unfortunately people do is they go out and get more general knowledge and then more general knowledge and they get their PhD in general knowledge and somebody swoops in with specific knowledge, gets the job, gets the company and outsells you, right? So uh, you guys are all on a, and, and the right space, space at the right time. So what's on my mind? Really good question. I would say this, uh, you asked, asked me that and like, I have two thoughts going on. I'm trying to share and think about that and, and deliver a good answer. And I, I've been on TV for over 20 years and infomercials have been my life. Tony Robbins took my money over 20 years ago for a product on TV and it transformed my life. And I wanted to get in that space. And within a couple of years, I shot my first infomercial I got on TV. And the truth is I ignored social media up until about a year ago, a year and a half ago. I think I had 10,000 followers on Instagram. I just, my company was over a hundred million dollars a year. I was like, eh, I'll get to that someday. And then I realized the whole generational gap of people that weren't getting my products, getting my services, getting my daily messages. And I would say what's on my mind now is that a year and a half ago, I said, I need to, I need to, uh, I need to let the world know at least what I do. If they like it, great. If they don't, it's great. So 
a year and a half ago, I started obsessing on social media. I think we just passed 420,000 people on Instagram. We're growing thousands and thousands of thousands of people weekly, organically, and Facebook blew up. So I would say what's on my mind now is impact on the next level. I, I've been blessed to be in this self entrepreneur for 30 years. And I'd love to talk about the pain of what so many people might be failing right now or the desire they have to the next, go to the next level or feeling like they hit a glass ceiling and there's a ceiling, they just can't get through it. I wanna share some ways people can break through that. But I want you to know is the feeling of me being a broke kid who didn't go past high school, whose guidance counselor told him that, you know, you could work in the local factory or work with your dad fixing cars because pretty much your grades and not taking an SAT, you're screwed. Like that feeling and having envy of other people getting ahead, I never let that leave my body. And a couple of years ago, my brands and my company passed a billion dollars in sales. To say that is unbelievable and shocking for me to ever say, say that. But I have to tell you, internally, I still feel like that kid that wasn't going to make it or the one that was picked on because he had hand-me-downs. And that drives me in a way, Peter, that I can't tell you. Like, you don't always want to run away from pain because that gets tiresome. But I just don't forget where I was. And it, it makes me always want to stay relevant. I mean, you, how long have you been doing this, Peter? Oh, 12, 12 years. So was, okay. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so this is my 22nd year of teaching people. And I've been blessed to stay relevant every year for that long. And you know, that's very rare for you to say 12 is amazing. So to stay relevant that long, it's always on my mind. I mean, I, I could talk about what I feel with my kids right now and my personal life. I got all those, but if we're talking about business is I never want to stop growing. I obsess on masterminds. I learn from people like you. I, I watch more videos than people would ever imagine because I'm a consummate learner because I don't want to be outdated. I don't want to be the guy that used to make an impact. I don't want to be the guy that used to have a private jet. I don't want to be the guy that used to live in a, in a bit like, I don't want to be the used to guy. And I don't want to look back and rest on my laurels. Like, Oh, look at all I have accomplished. I'm, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And I fight as if someone's going to take it away from me every single day. I could bail right now and be good for the rest of my life. But I got another 50 years on this earth. I want to make impact the entire time. And I'm obsessively learning and trying to grow. So but I hope that was a good answer. Amazing. You see that all the time. I see it in not just entrepreneurship, sports, athletes, entertainers. They're relevant and then they stop. Do you feel like one of the, the, the reasons people don't stay consistent and relevant is because they're, they stop growing and they stop trying to invest in themselves and invest in specialized knowledge? Do you feel like that's the main reason? Yeah, I don't think it. I know it for an absolute fact. And I watch, I watch people fight. So I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. I've been in the success space teaching others for over 20. And I watch somebody come on the scene and you'll see it now, Peter, yourself. You'll see somebody come on or you'll, now in today's world, this used to be infomercials and direct mail before the internet actually existed. But now you'll see somebody come online and you'll see their ads all over and they're pushing it and you hear the guy's on fire and he's doing all this stuff. And then all of a sudden, a year and a half later, you don't hear anything. It's what happens is somebody finds a path. Like we can all, like we can all find a groove where you like launch, right? But the people who make it sustainable, people who you say, oh, Peter's been around for over 10 years. Like they're the ones obsessing on growing and learning. I mean, even going back to only because I geeked out on it last week, I haven't read it in 10 years, but I read Think and Grow Rich again. And when you look in that book, it's so magnificent. And it talks about the, pe the only people who make it. The only ones are the ones that never stop learning. Education isn't like total immersion until you get your master's degree and then you're done for life. The people who go to the next level, learning is just a part of what they do. Dustin says, what was your most pivotal moment in your career and how did that help you grow into the person you are today? Can you think of like your most pivotal or, or any of your tipping points? Wow. It's a, it's a, there's just been so many. There's been so many. And I have to, I have to tell you, probably is the first time I cut a check to be in a mastermind. Um, I cut a check to my buddy, Joe Polish for 25 grand. He started uh, Genius Network about 14 years ago. He hit me up. I had already been running masterminds and he's like, hey, I'm starting this mastermind. There's like 10 of us gonna get together. It's 25 grand. I'm like, oh, 25 grand. I don't know if I have time. And is it really gonna be worth it? And I was a fool. I cut that check. I, the first meeting, uh, you know, when you have the collective wisdom of people in a room who've experienced exactly what you're going through, or they need your help, or they've already failed where you want to venture into, I had exponential growth from that. I, I've probably, since I'm still in that group, 
I'm a part of Dan Sullivan's 50 grand a year. Joe and I actually started a hundred thousand dollar a year mastermind uh, three years ago. We sold out in seven days. Um, and masterminds have transformed my life. Just being a part of a group or a community where collectively you're all getting smarter, I would bet to say uh, it's my unfair advantage. If you read Think and Grow Rich, the part of uh, uh, specialized, specialized knowledge and the mastermind chapter, it's like, it's how Henry Ford got there. It's how Harvey Firestone got there. It's how uh, Andrew Carnegie got there. They had masterminds, call them masterminds. I just wasn't smart enough when I first read that book, you know, 20 years ago to jump in. But yeah, I would say that's the most pivotal point. Huge. And a lot of people still kind of hold back because they don't know how important specialized knowledge is. So self-education kind of changed both of our lives. Um, right now, there's a movement of specialized knowledge and, there, and, and it's, it's a crazy industry. I've tapped into this years ago. And for me, Dean, what was the game changer was I'm very big on, on creating a life and a business on my terms. Our, I'm yeah. very big on having leverage not having to be places. And what happened with me with running a mastermind is it allowed me to do something I love, share my knowledge, but also do it on my terms. Yeah. So what about people that are confused or don't know how to get into a mastermind, run a mastermind, take their specialized knowledge and teach it? What would you tell to that person? And talk so, about the industry, how big it is. Yeah. So <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. First off, the industry wise, that industry, the self-education business, Tony, my buddy, Tony Robbins started 42 years ago. I started 22 years ago. It wasn't cool. Like there was a small group of people that lived in the personal growth space that were just crushing it from back in the day with Earl Nightingale and Dale Carnegie. And before that was Napoleon Hill and then Tony. And like, it was a small little niche and people were embarrassed to pay for a coach. Like you'd pay for a coach if you want to be great at golf or football, but not at success. You got to figure that shit out on your own. But we've hit a tipping point and you're here right now realizing that you pay for speed. You pay. Why learn through your own trial and error when you can learn specialized knowledge from someone who's already been there? And here's the cool part. That industry right now, the, the self-education industry is $355 million a day. It's a $129 billion industry. Forbes just said that this industry is going to triple in the next five years. Close to what, a billion a day will be spent on self-education because people realize the quickest way to the next level is to learn from somebody who's already done it. And here's the, here's the craziest thing is the education system is currently broken. There's no question about that. 27% we, we, of people who go to college actually get a job in that field. And 52% of that 27% hate the job they're in. So you got about 12% of people who go to college, get a degree and actually like it. With $1.5 trillion in debt, the, the college system is broken. And how do you fix that? It's self-education. And here's the part that, you may, when I first say like, well, how does that get fixed? The truth is how it's fixed lives in everybody listening. It lives inside your head. You have a specialized skill, a knowledge, a hobby, a passion that the world needs to learn about. And that's how masterminds, that's how communities are built. That's how workshops are built. I mean, I'll, I'll share a little bit more about this in a moment, but me and my buddy, Tony Robbins are been working obsessively and we've been finding people all over the world doing workshops and building communities and doing masterminds. And it's on things that you would never think like how to, how to do fades on the side of the hair, a guy doing 10 grand a month, teaching young kids how to be a better barber or how to be a better wedding photographer or how to fix, you know, how to cure yourself of endometriosis because they went through it, became the reporter of knowledge. Now they do workshops and masterminds on it. Like the world has recognized that and we want people to see it. It's like, you know how we fix the world and make impact? Not only get successful, but then figure out how to teach others what you've done. Because when you teach, you grow. I see people trying to take advantage, but they're doing it wrong. Like they're yeah. not doing it right. And people don't know how to extract the knowledge. Is there anything? Because there is a lot of people that have asked me and reached out. They want to run workshops. They want to They want to run masterminds. They, they just don't know how to figure out exactly what to teach. And then of course they don't know how to, to, to fill them up. So can you maybe give one or two tips? Then we'll talk about um, what's next, but how do you figure out what you can actually teach? Yeah. So I think first off is I'll share this a little bit, but Tony Robbins and I, he's one of my best friends. We've been geeking out for a year and we're, we're, we're doing a special live training if you want to talk about that, but we're going to share the blueprint on how to extract what you're good at. Because here's the next level though. I want you guys to think about this and Peter, reel me in if I go off in a different direction. But if you think about this, you are good at something that took you a long time to figure out. I have an accountant that I know, he's a friend of mine. He was an accountant for 35 years. 
wanted to go in this space. He's like, who's going to want to buy from an accountant? People that are just starting to be an accountant. He's got 35 years of mistakes and trial and error and evolving to be the CFO of a big company. All that lesson, all that knowledge. If he died, it'd be like throwing away a multi-million dollar hard drive. He, he started training new accountants and people that are flat in the business, not making money, all his skills. Now he's doing, you know, about 40 grand a month teaching accountants how to go faster, extracting his knowledge, right? So if you have a skill and passion and expertise, if you do something that someone else is going to take a year or five years to figure out, they will pay you for that. I don't do a lot of webinars like I used to. I don't do a lot of live trainings um, just because I feel like there's a lot of fluff. But when you brought this up, and one of my friends brought it up that you and Tony were doing a live webinar on how Tony to- Tony hasn't done one in 10 years, so it's pretty amazing. So how to, how to run, so can you simplify, because I do want people to get on it. It's 100% yep. free and it will fill up and I know it'll fill up because um, I know how powerful you two are when you promote something, it's gonna be a game changer. And you, mainly Tony, you two, um, but he taught me back in the day to give massive free value Absolutely. To, to force you to make better content later. And I know it's going to be valuable. So talk about if you could simplify what you're going to go over in this free training, that'd yeah, be awesome. Because yeah. I'm excited. I'm already signed up. I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and if you want, we can give a, a link here for people to register in a moment here. I'll tell you what, what it is. It doesn't matter where you are. Be on that. If you know anything about Tony, if you know anything about me, our lives are delivered to deliver value. We are going to be sitting right here live and deliver how you can identify a superpower you have or a niche that you love, that you'd love to be the reporter. And then how to create a community around it or create a, a group around it or to do a workshop and or to do a, a mastermind and how to do it live or do it virtual like Zoom. We're going to take you through a journey on how what our goal is, is our mission for last year, Peter, is to make self-education the new norm. That's all we talk about. We've, we've been friends for a long time. It's been such a long, Tony and I joke, if we didn't have self-education, we'd be asking you if you want to supersize your, your meal because that's what changed our lives. So we want the world to be exposed to this. And that's why we decided to go live and, and just share some massive value. So it doesn't matter where you are, just starting, already in business. I would say attend, we won't let you down. We want to make it when we're on our deathbed that the world has shifted and self-education is the new norm. And I think Tony and I are the guys to do it. We got 64 years in this industry between us. So uh, we're really excited. Who, who's going to talk more? Uh, Tony will pretend he's not going to talk more, but he can't control himself. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, and I'm going to have, I'm going to be, we're going to be sitting right here. I'm going to have, well, nobody's going to see it, but I'll have probably like two phone books underneath okay. my seat so I can be almost the same height. <laughs> That's really funny. How much, I just want to point this out and, and this is not planned. How much do you think you and Tony have done in business and, and, and money made in the last 30, 40 years? Just an estimate. What do you guys think? It's, it's billions. So I want you guys to think about this billions and, and they're still doing this because they've came together. And, and this is what inspired me personally that, that I have never shared you guys have already established yourselves. You're already celebrities in your space. You've done billions and you've came together. And I'm, I'm assuming you've had many conversations of how you could create something that could actually really change the game. And my thought process was, this is probably it. I don't want to miss this. Am I, yeah, am I correct? You're a thousand percent right. This is, I mean, if you look at Tony right now, Tony wouldn't have to work a, another day in his life. He is on such a mission to impact. It's unbelievable. I, I, don't, I don't know anybody that outworks me because I'm so driven for, for just growing. He outworks me significantly. Like he was just in London doing UPW. He'll land, do two more events. Him and I are going to be together Friday to do a couple podcasts. And like he's on a mission every single day. It has nothing to do with money. It has to do with impact. So when we decided to create something, this is our legacy. This is extracting 60 years worth and putting it in one blueprint for people to model. And it's going to, I honestly believe, and I have to because I'm working so hard on this, it's going to change the world. And uh, I'm pretty, who gets to say that? So Dean, you're, you're speaking to a thousand young entrepreneurs with okay. massive hunger, massive drive. Let's end with this. What's, what's the one thing you would tell them after watching this, the one action they should take, the one thought they should take with them uh, before going in to change the game. They, they want to be like you. They want to impact people. They want to reach the million dollar mark. What's the one thing they can do right when they leave here? I would identify right now as simple as this sounds, I, I promise you what's standing between you and a million dollars a year 
is the story you tell yourself on why you can't get there. It's your employee's fault. It's someone in your team. It's because the market's too saturated. It's because your boyfriend or your girlfriend doesn't support you. It's because you don't have enough money for advertising or you don't have time. I'm not saying that you don't feel those, but it's just the story. If you change that story, you will change how fast you get to that million dollars. So as soon as we're done right now, say, I could be at $2 million a year in 12 months, but and fill in what that butt is. That's your lie, that's your story, that's your subconscious making you feel okay. Revert that to an empowering story and watch how fast things change. Well, man, I appreciate you for not just what you've done and what you've accomplished, but who you are, who you're becoming, and for your relentless pursuit of consistently impacting people, staying relevant and really building a legacy you can be proud of and millions of people can be impacted by. So thanks again, man. Yeah, I hope man. you guys comprehended what he talked about, but much respect, much love. Look forward to building our relationship as well. You got it, man. Take care. See you guys.